it's Nina from VR Focus. I'm joined by... Uh, Greg Loudon, lead designer at Third Eye Studios. So tell me a little bit about this game. I just tried it out. I was floating around in space. What is it called? What are you doing? Okay, it's called Downward Spiral Forest Station. It's a zero gravity space thriller for solo and co-op. Uh, there's a big mystery in the game. We're not going to tell you what it is. We want the story to be discovered. So that's been one of the key mantras of the game. It's a story that's discovered, not told. So um, I think it'll all make sense when you get through, but for players that want a bit more mystery in their games and don't want to be spoon-fed, then this is definitely the game for you. Okay, so um, what was the idea behind it? What inspired you to create this game? Have you guys done VR before? We have. So we actually started with Downward Spiral Prologue that came out last March. You can get it already on Steam. And uh, we started with that, and it was more of like a proof of concept. We figured out a locomotion way that could allow you to move around without feeling motion sick, which is obviously a huge thing in VR, particularly at the beginnings of virtual reality. So once we knew that, and once we did the game, we saw this huge potential in what we'd created. So we decided to invest. So we've got eight times the enemies, eight times the weapons, and even eight acts, whereas the prologue was like a single act. Okay. And last but not least, we're crazy. We have multiplayer. So we have PvP, deathmatch. We have horde modes. So you can play against our enemies. And we obviously have co-op, which you just played. So is that all in the same arena and the same map that we just played? It's in different locations, the okay. multiplayer stuff. This game is going to be available for which headsets? It's going to be available for uh, PSVR, Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, and Windows Mixed Reality. So if I have a PlayStation VR and someone has an Oculus Rift, can we play together? You can't, unfortunately. We might be supporting that, but let's see, hopefully in the future. So right now you'd be supporting if people have the same headset, so be to play together. Correct. Or if it's through Steam VR. It'll be through Steam VR. Through Steam VR. Yeah. Okay. So we can confirm that ahead, but uh, fingers crossed. We'd love to allow more players to go across, but uh, we can't announce anything yet. What is the most interesting part about the game? Personally, I thought the soundtrack specifically was quite interesting. Yeah. Uh, great question. I think I, I love the sound as well. We just released a developer diary that really goes into it, but having. The music by Ville Valo, who was in him providing this like electronic ambient score. Because we have no cinematics, we have no dialogue, the story really has to come through the sound as an actor. But I'm also a big fan of our art. I think our environmental storytelling is very cool. And when you really get into the story and you play through, you're really going to start to see some very cool locations. So. I think it's pure storytelling. It's just art and sound. And I think that's what makes the game so strong. But we also have awesome weaponry and that sort of stuff that you've seen. So I think it's a game for everyone. So are, are there different types of locomotion or ways of traveling through the different arenas? Definitely, yeah. So we have the normal uh, grab to move, which really gives you that helplessness in space that you don't usually feel in games. We need to push off and grab. We have the grappling magnet, which you can use to uh, project into a wall, shoot, and it kind of reels you forward. And then we have the thruster, which is kind of an engine that allows you to propulse yourself through the environment. So. We've got different ways to move, and obviously in co-op, it can create some really fun situations. I also managed to kill my colleague when I was playing the game, so there's friendly fire in it as well. <laughs> that's, that's something that, once again, I think when you play the game, it'll all make sense, but we, we support that as well, which has been quite challenging, but still, yeah, we, we offer that too. So. You'll, I don't want to spoil it because there may be some story reasons, but, okay. but yeah, let's well, see. Well, it sounds like you have to play the game to actually understand Definitely. what's going on. And, yeah. Um, there's a lot of, I mean, there was a lot of strange, strangeness going on, I thought. I mean, I was staring out the window and there was a man in a spacesuit looking at me from outside and then like a teddy bear floating around. So that was surreal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, I think that um, we really... When everyone gets to play the game, we're really going to put you in the deep end. But I think as you kind of get closer to the surface and closer to the end of the game, you're really going to connect everything and what we're trying to say. So at the very end, everything will make sense. I, I think it will. Or it will leave you with a lot of questions, like a great story. So let's see. But yeah. <laughs> um, are you hoping to do kind of like a sequel to this as part of like a larger series? Yeah, we'd love to. Let's, let's see how it goes with this one. We've got big ideas of where to go. And I think we've got hints of the direction we're going in this game as well. There may even be some clues in the poster, which uh, 
I Which can leave none it of you for. Guys can read yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you look, there's um, there's a spaceman on another planet, so it may be that there's um some glimpses of something else. Okay, so you have an explorer mode besides kind of the co-op and fighting. Yeah, so explorer mode is cool because we have engage, which allows you to have uh, three different difficulty modes. Standard, oppressive, which is like a really brutal difficulty mode for players that like a challenge. But we also understand that some players just want to float through and listen to the sound and enjoy the art and the visuals. So we have explorer mode, which allows you to play through in co-op without enemies. You still may have some of them in the environment. You'll still have the weapons so you can shoot them and listen to them and enjoy them but otherwise it's completely free of any other danger and threat. And we found with uh, different players, it's been really immersive for them. And it's allowed even more players who don't usually play games to jump in and explore. So it's, um, it's a really exciting mode as well we're happy to bring to players. I can imagine a lot of music videos sort of being made in the background. Yeah. Where people are like, oh, this sounds really cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, it's, um, it's really coming together. We can't wait for everyone to play it this spring. What's the feedback that you've gotten from people who have tried it so far? It's been really good. Um, like anything, like people that play it usually find the bugs for us and then we fix them. But in general, people have been really impressed by the story and I think the scope of the game. Uh, I really recommend you jump into the prologue so you get some brief understanding. Even if you don't play it, it's okay. But I think if you've played both games, you're really going to be impressed. I think you'll just see that we've really expanded the game in a big way. How long would it take for you to complete the whole story if you were to also play the prologue as well? Yeah, if you were to play the prologue as well, we found the prologue, some people can speed run it and do it very quickly. We kind of estimated that to be around uh, 40 minutes. However, the thing we've noticed as well is in co-op, it just takes so much longer as you guys play yeah. in a sense. So um, let's see, we've got eight acts. It's roughly the same length. Uh, I'd say it's probably going to be four to six hours eventually in the end. But let's see, for some players we've tested, they took 10 hours. And some players, obviously, that are just going to race, it's going to be a very quick experience, but it's much longer than the prologue. And I okay. think it's a great value for the player with multiplayer, co-op, explorer, difficulties. It's, um, it's a great package. Fantastic. And I can say price-wise, it's not going to be, uh, it's going to be more related to kind of other indie game prices. So we'll be announcing that ahead soon, but it's definitely going to be under 20 US dollars. Wow, when's it coming out? It comes out this spring. We'll be announcing the date very soon. Fantastic. Is there a website that we can go to to find out more information? Ah, uh, yeah. You can go to thirdeyestudios.fi or follow us on, obviously, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we'll announce everything there. Great. Uh, head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about virtual reality, and I'll see you there. Thanks.